I started JCB move day. If I videoed it, I'd have a million views by now because it caught on fire, the engine did. But no drama, it was alright. I was just shaking for about three hours after. But uh, we go into detail on that again. But I'll start it up a bit later now. I'll walk on first and uh, I'll show you easier starts. Comical. It looks dead. It was ready for the scrapyard. A big drum of yellow paint and a bit of tin work and uh, we'll make something of it yet. I mean, while I'm here now, the grass has just gone mad. It caught me out a bit, to be honest, though. Look at it. I've done it on the front of the farm, but I've got to do it on the back, so... I usually try to do it on a Saturday, to be honest, though. I have one day a week doing it. But I'll do round here. Loads of it, anyway. Looking a bit crazier. So let's see where I am at the moment. So, like I said... Got the international and tipping trailer. So I'm just transferring this. That was a load there. That was one ton bag and lots of little bags. So I carry about 15 little bags. So it was a fair pile there. That was the first load. The two loads for me. And I still got all that in there. That's why it's good, good to have such a big van. And it was still up to the ceiling really. With all my tools and gear coming from the job. So I'm going to get all the rest of this out. Get more bags. I do sometimes. I set it up in there with 10 bags, it was just a bit of a, a mad rush. It was to get the job done and get it cleaned up. So, we load up in a minute and I'll video it. I'm gonna walk around first. Um, yes, yeah, so here's the old beauty, and she's a beauty. Fair dues. Like I said, only over 20 years we've had it, but uh, it's been a legend to have. Gotta pump the tyres up. I got a smaller bucket coming for the back, there's a two foot bucket, so I got a foot bucket. It leaks oil everywhere. That's just the way it is. Just gotta to keep topping it up. It'll still pull an all or dig an all or do something better than by hand, so that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna make a bit canopy over the top. So the cab rotted out years ago and I just chucked it away. I wish I kept it now for a bit of a template or, or try to fix it. I'm gonna make a bonnet for it. I'll start it up now. I'm going to make a bonnet and the front grill, stop stuff going through it. I need front wheels and I've got to sort the power steering out. But I can get around with it, but it's, it's hard work. Um, just a coat of yellow paint, like I said, a totally different machine. It's only got a small battery on it, but it should start. Watch this now. always started so comically, it's unbelievable. Old Leyland engine is, in the field, 465. That's the tractor based it, what it was based on. I got the air filter back on, there's never had air filter in it. For 20 years we've had it, they sound mad. I got a new starter on it. I got to put the housing back on for the, for the battery and the air filter. I will set the air filter back up. But, um, the radiator is leaking, so I've got to sort of, all the water's drained out at the moment. But, um,
Yeah, so it's comical how he runs. Well, that's how it's always been. Just starts and runs everything as it should. Like, like I said, I've got a problem with the steering. So I'll look into that. I'm just going to try to sort him out cosmetically a bit. Paint him up. Make a bonnet. Like I said, the bonnet I've been on it. 20 years? No, that's how it's always been. Grill. Done everything like that. But with a cab on it. We did have a bonnet in the beginning, I think. But, uh, like I said, we got a lot of leaks. But I got about, um, 200 litres, 600 litres of used engine oil. That's all we put in it. That's all we ever have. Never put no hydraulic oil in it. Old engine oil. That's all that's ever been in that. No hydraulic oil because we couldn't afford it. Because it leaks so fast. It's always leaked. So, um, I'm not saying I won't ever fix it. But let's just uh, sort them out a bit first. Like, change bags every so often when they go. But a nasty leak down there on the uh, the slew cylinders. So maybe investigate that in the future. And I've got a seal gone in this one, which we we once we sprayed the caravans with, with red with hot oil. That was interesting, let me tell you. I was quickly running for hot water, trying to wash it off. Went over a few caravans and the newish caravans at the time. I was digging, seal went and just blasted out hot oil everywhere. So I just covered it just in case. It don't leak all the time. But in case it does, I might put a thumb on it too. I've been watching a lot of people with, with thumbs on little mini diggers for lifting stuff up. Only one of the jacks work on the back. It used to work the other side. But got bent ram on it. So that's something to look into in the future. But um, it's just too handy to get rid of. So I'll have to do it up until a uh, better one comes along. Like I said, it's not that much happened really on the yard, it's all the same. We've got builders coming out in June. That's when the work starts. In two, well, builders come in in two weeks. On the next vlog now, you'll see a bit of difference then. I'll show you what they're doing. We should look tidy. Well, I've got some old Lando wheels for this. I think they can come across cheap. 30 quid for three, so that was all right. So I'm gonna just buy loads of them. I like the old Lando wheels. And uh, get this running for going to farm then, as I'm doing up in the future, like. But uh, it runs tidy. Like I said the Isuzu 2.8 in there. This is a, I've had this for a long time. Uh, only for going to farm. My tyre burst out on me when I was doing some fencing work. So I've got a tyre for the back. That's what I do all my fencing out on my little trailer. Good trailer that is. Honestly though. I'll show you in here now. This is all we've done, really. Because um, the builders are going to do some work on you. They've got to sort this wall out by you. We're just coming out, I think I showed you. So that'll be done. I'll try to show all the stuff they're going to do. New fascia on the front of you. Um, I think we're doing new fascia on there. I've got to kill loads of weeds. I've got to kill, I've got to just weed kill loads. I'll be doing a video in the next few days on the, the Japanese knotweed. That's work that have. A lot of people said they wouldn't. It takes seven years. Well, in one year, you see the difference from exactly this time last year to when I do the next video. You watch the difference. Um, so, spray all this year. A bit of the edge. Still waiting for the gas board before I take down our tree, so I've just left him in there. So, we've got more worries with the, the work that's happening on the farm. New utility room in there. That's been all knocked down, except the roof. There's a new roof. So the front, a new door, new window, new door, all this to be sorted out. New shower room in there. That's the old um, dairy that is. All new tap and everything out here fitted. So I'll be all totally different there. So when the work's happening, like I said, the next one I'll take you and show you all that one. What's well, been done. i got to paint the outside. But um, all the work's going to be done inside. Other than the barn, but yeah, I like the burr. It's very really dark in here, you put the light on. Oh, no difference. But you couldn't see up there before. So I moved all the stuff, there was a false floor in yeah, Like a loft, see the hatch below, the door was below. So my father knocked that through there. I goes through into the barn, so I'm gonna carry on with that. So walk through and get the A then. 
but up there, that's where it's all watered out. So they've got to fix all that up there. See the rafters? So they're going to check everything, and they've got to fix this by a, like I said, it's very dark in here. But they've got to fix that. So that'll be all done before I give the animals. This is pretty much just clean this out again and just wash it, uh, just white lime it. They put new lights in here, new lights in there, uh, new lights outside all the doors. Dark on camera, I don't know. It's not a very good day today. So there'll be new water in here as well, new water system in. And I can join on them what I put down to the chickens. So I'm to put water feeders as well for the cows. So I come up over and have the like six or seven, it depends, I'll put another bay by you. Uh, automatic feeders. I've been spraying out here, killing the brambles, uh, killing the nettles and whatever's here. So that's working alright, I'll give you another coat. There's just so much to do. I finished the front wall to a certain degree, so I'm happy with that. It's got to do the top tidy, I'll just stuck it on it for a minute. Well, that's straight down, eh? So that was the wall that I was doing on the other videos. So that's all right, I'm happy enough with that. Like I said, the top is just dropped on it for a minute. i got to cut the grass in there, look at it. Well, that's the wall, that's all I'll do. I've got to do so many walls, yeah? I'll kill around, yeah? There's a lot of dock. I saw a spray in there to see if it'd kill him, all right? Bit of a tester. Been smashing back bamboo down here with the old Zeta. Gotta give it all these bambles, yeah. So it's a continuous thing all the time. Like I said, the front of the farm looking better now. Be two loads anyway. I said I got that pile over there. Over as well. I've got to watch what I'm doing at the bottom because everything, all this on top of tools and everything. So I go through it quite slowly now, the last bit by hand because I've actually chucked stuff away before. It's got in mixed in with it. Like I said, I'm lucky here because I can dump the stuff myself to a certain degree. Um, but I'm getting fed up with it. So like I said, I've got to get a chipper. I don't usually chuck it over all my tools like this. I was just been rushing to get it all in. I didn't really have room to set up the bags. You can see how much stuff I had to carry with me. And this was just one corner for a reduction job. So, oh, the nightmare. Like I said, the moving of the stuff is really getting me down. So, I'll have to just slow it down, I think, on some of these bigger jobs and uh, until I get a, a chipper. A pedestrian chipper, because most of the jobs I do is always back entrance, down the side of houses. Um, you can't get a big chipper in there, and it's pointless doing that because you've still got to drag all the stuff out. So I want like an industrial 13, 16 horsepower, um, narrow, narrow access chipper. That's what we get in. So look out, watch this space in the future, I'll definitely be getting that. So that's the first load. Like I said, see how much comes out of here. Right, let's take this over the field. Like I said, usually I just used to drive it and scrape up the van and that was it. But I want to move it further this year. I do a different pile on the rougher ground.
car, so we tip that off as one load. We'll have a cupper now, load the other one up, take the van, oh, I'll empty the back of the van out, take another load over, and put the Wessex mower on there. Um, there we are, I'll leave it there then, just to give you an idea of what I've been doing, and uh, where we are with everything, pretty much. I will be doing A, so the, the grass is growing nice. Always come nice at the back, feels better. So we'll have more this year because we're doing the back, the side field there. That's like three and a half acres. Three, we'll do at least three acres of cut there. Um, two acres over there, but we'll only do about an acre, just over an acre over there. And like an acre at the back or whatever. So, we we'll stock up the barn ready for when we have the animals. Which will be soon. So I've got to get the fence in, then i got to get back on that as well up there. So I'm put some sheep in the backfield first, like. Right, well there we are. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.